It's Tabletop Time. It's Tabletop Time. I'm Dave. Hello and welcome. Hello, I am Elle. Welcome from me. <laughs> I'm Murray. You also get a welcome. <laughs> you are welcome. I'm Jen. Ahoy hoy. And I'm Jazza. You are more than welcome. Whoa. Ooh, well, we're back. It's 2024 and it's time to duel. Oh, no, wait, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, not Pokemon. We're going to be playing more of our Pokemon fan roleplay tonight. We are sorry we had an extra week off. Unprecedented. Jen and I were afflicted by a plague. Uh, there was a filthy Grimer that came through and gave us all the sickness mm. oh, for a damn. week. Sorry. Well, <laughs> luckily you I went to the the, the the poker Poke Mart. You know what's the closest <laughs> thing to a Poke Mart that we have in real life? <laughs> the Tabletop Time merch store. And if you'd like to support our channel, what a great way to do it. Get something for it. And uh, you know what's really exciting about the Tabletop Time merch store? It's that we have new what merch as that? promised. Oh. What's this? Is this a shirt? It is a call to quest, I believe. Oh, yes. Is this an 80s themed call to quest, quest available on the website to remember our favorite um, thing? Amazing. It's magnificent. I don't think I've actually seen this. It's so good. <laughs> and you know what else? That's not all. It comes in all different colors. Oh. Uh, you can get it in white. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh. Uh, you can get it in ash. That's a bit better. Maybe you just want the sword to be secret yeah, once that's you get cool. up yeah. close, you know? It looks good yeah. in dark it's colors. Black, black and charcoal. Uh, but guess what? That's not all because there is also this. <gasps> Our, What's this? The, the legendary hey. quote. Uh, <laughs> Tell me your name so I can forget it. Hey. He said the thing. He said the thing. Oh, 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 boy. I accidentally <laughs> kept eating the apple even though I said I wouldn't wouldn't keep eating the apple once we started recording. It's too tempted. It's too tasty. It's too uh, much. But not only do we have this, guess what? If you don't like a vectored version of Oswald, well, hell, you don't have to have a vectored version of Oswald because you, if you want the quote, you can have the trick on the, it. You can have this. Look, it's even got his memory potion. Hey. It's got his famous glasses yes. that he wears on his face. The forget it is even louder. So you can, this one's great because it's almost more offensive because it's more disconnected to Oswald. So it's just like, just Look. wear it. <laughs> Let people know you don't want to talk to them. Did Oswald have glasses? Yeah, he was spectacular. That explains a so. lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that's me out. Someone else take over. Tabletop time merch. Oh, one more thing. <gasps> it's not just that. Ooh. There's also just all kinds of shirts and merch from our previous stuffing and apron, jumpers, hoodies, cyberpunk reboot. It's all there. We've even got Follow the Sparrow. Remember that great character and that big twist? Um, well, not only that, there's minis. And our Kickstarter, what? which has just been fulfilled to everyone. Ooh. You can lay back a pledge yes. and get that here it's a late backer bundle and it's that's different because eventually we'll have a mega bundle this is a cheaper mega bundle but it's early access so it's cheaper now it won't always be because we're making more and now's the mm. chance to get in and get it while it's cheaper because it's once we've made it all no more discounts. Everyone follow Dave's disembodied finger as he points towards it. Yeah, so um, <laughs> someone else, your turn to plug. Sure. We, can, we can point well, this way. If you enjoy the sound of Dave's munching as much as I do, you will be thrilled to know that this is also available in podcast form. I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> available everywhere you can get good podcasts. Uh, join us as we attempt to describe everything for you <laughs> and fail miserably. And last but not least, this episode and all of our episodes are brought to you by our lovely patrons uh, who get all sorts of lovely access to exclusive fun stuff. The super cut video of me eating an apple <laughs> with no audio except for, well, there's audio, but it's just the crunching. You should make it ASMR. Um, let me know if you'd like the ASMR Dave yes. eats an apple for yeah. patrons only. Please, yeah. that's the next. Uh, it's basically OnlyFans, but goal. it's Dave eating an apple. <laughs> yeah. Sensually, face like eye contacting the camera. But and then call it like fully clothed. I, I'm Pokemon sorry. I just I love ad. that statistically <laughs> someone might sign up. And to be <laughs> disappointed <laughs> at the lack of our Apple. Leave a scathing review. If we get if we get a significant amount of requests, I will record an ASMR Apple eating video and that, put it up for patron. 
you see how dedicated we are to our top supporters. <laughs> so go check it out. It is a, a huge support to what we can do. We we can't do this without our patrons, and we're so grateful that we can push the boundaries and, and try as hard as we can to make the best content for you guys. So go check it out. I love that pushing the boundaries includes we, 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 Apple eating. I didn't Dave say what boundaries. I meant the, your Ooh. comfort boundaries. <laughs> I think he's quite comfortable eating that. Honestly, <laughs> he's living the life. All right, Kathy. I'm almost done, but I'm going to go back for more later. Save the fight. There'll be a moment, like, when something really <laughs> awful happens in the game. It's just <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where are we at mm. environmentally? Are we here? This one's a pink lady. <laughs> a sweet type of apple, not a cooking apple. Uh, anyway, not to, not where are we? Smith. You guys tell me. Well, where is... This. We're on a beach. Australia. Yeah, that's a beach. What are you talking about? It looks like Australia to me. Not the same beach. It looks like Australia. Are we in Australia? <laughs> is this beach. island uh, As- the biggest Australia. island in the world? You're in the you're in the Perdido region. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. Is it, that where we did we oh, enter a new can... region at the end of the last? No. 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 Are we we, that's the region you're in. Up and down the one route. Because... You're in route. Someone got three lead of the party and they sprinted <laughs> back to go find a small child. That's right. We did go backwards. That was my bad. It's but I had like fun. <laughs> and I did. got given like 75 cents. So I was hoping for a sort of a, con- a good recap from all of you, but cash. you all keep looking yeah. to me to tell yes. you what happened. Please 100%. tell us. Nope. I got to talk for the rest of the episode. So if you can't tell the viewer what happened, okay. then so, I'm so out. All of us looking at the, the DM the way he was says, okay. ineffectively <laughs> blocked by a guy. That we yes. got past. Guy, his guy, small child who we was start to explore, his led pr- first by you, <laughs> Murray, yes. Victor. You choose your Murray. <laughs> <moments, laughs> he does choose. Um, <laughs> did we all have a turn? Did you have a turn? No, we were up a turn to, of what, sorry? to lead the party. You, I think you're next. I yes. think I am next. Yeah, yeah okay. I remember having this conversation. Yes. Victor, then Brad, then Stormy. And yeah. basically, uh, Victor, did you yeah, catch no, a Pokemon? Yeah. You did. I got the Ekans. Yeah! Yes. Big shake! Ah. You got, oh man, you got a cool Pokemon. Yeah. And then I uh, took the lead and I uh, tried to catch Foamy and burned a, through two balls, including a, a great ball. Uh, but I got it in the end. Yeah. And uh, Stormy took the lead and, I and immediately took us ran 10 back steps back to fight the bug boy. And you fought Bug Boy. I did fight Bug Boy. And I beat Bug Boy. But what are we doing? Well, you're heading off to the east to see if you can find some way to find some technique to distract the tree-like pseudo Pokemon that are blocking the way That's with the true. nice cut. cut. Uh, yeah. Just a side note, wasn't there also a gym leader? The guys, the kids Supposedly dad? there was yeah. a gym leader yeah. off to the east. And there was a kid looking for his brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of them was Luca and one of them was the other one. Was Silas. Silas. Silas and Luca. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then a couple Great. of other extra mini quests. As Pokemon often has. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so tonight we will be picking up in, uh, well, that location, uh, which is the middle of Route 3 of the Perdido region, which is a forested area where you've been journeying, uh, catching plenty of Pokemon and uh, generally having a wonderful time. I think, have you been having a wonderful time? No, okay, having a miserable time. Are you asking players or are you yeah, asking characters? Yeah, that was what I did in my head, which is why I Honestly, responded actually, with 15 seconds. Mine is a yes from both. Yep. Okay, so okay. I'm good. Well, Stormy's having a great time. Brad's quite anxious and nervous uh, <laughs> because Stormy's having such a good time. <laughs> because Stormy's having a great time. That's all right. She's no longer leading. <laughs> Get no. back here. It was intense but brief. <laughs> And now Melanie's in charge. Yeah. And I like troop behind you, sadly. But I beat a bug boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like loaded up now. You're, you're good. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't win a Pokemon that time. But I think I got a lot of XP. Mm. So Stormy is uh, buffing up. <laughs> getting, getting swole. Yeah. Getting them games. Pokemon swole. Yes. Those 10 year old games. Exactly. So from memory, we had exactly. north and northeast. Were the directions we hadn't been because the cave oh, guarded by a small child mm. was off to the west. Do you have a map? 
I do have a map, but you can't bring it up yet. We might have to go back through the small grass. Map has been disabled. Map map is currently disabled in favor of um, of NPC information. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, so we can can only get one. Can you tell me directions again? As I got hit on the head with a coconut, so I don't quite remember what happened. Well, wow, I can do you one better, and I can give you Whoopsie back. Sally. Actually, no. Um, Lot of leap landed on my head and gave me a concussion. I think that's the one. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Concussion. Thing. <laughs> Welcome to read three. Okay. Yay. Okay. So, uh, you saw the, the you'd got to the top of the grass here, and mm-hmm. and we went back down. And you went back down. <laughs> Great noises. Thanks, Stormy. So here you are. <laughs> well, we beat, made the small child cry. Yep. 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 No, he was cry. having fun. He just gave you his like oh. seven yen Took and then yeah. yeah. Took his lunch money. And then he went back to chasing bugs again. Yeah, he was very oh he got very uh bashful because he realized that you're a girl mm-hmm. after talking and for I like five it. minutes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk about his shorts. He did have cool shorts. I like shorts. And now we've refreshed the chance to go through the grass again. Okay, I'm lost. Oh, uh, well, which way can we go? So I can either go obviously back up. Yes, or you can go to the right. Which we haven't gone yet. You haven't come from that okay, way. Okay. Let's go. To, uh, I say we go to the right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okie dokie. So. Genius. You, it's all right. You journey down. Wow. I think that you made the right decision. Oh, my God. Ah! ah. Look at that. I'm good. <laughs> Look at the next after. route. There it <gasps> is. Oh, I, no, can I change my... <laughs> right. I'm trying to make things Desmond. work, but I... Can we go back hey! to... Hey! Cute. You I, we haven't operated happen. this in weeks. For, uh, like a month, actually, because we yeah. had a Christmas episode. Yeah. Um, Hello, Stormy. But, there we go. There's Melanie. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hey. So you're heading yeah. off to the east and you <gasps> oh, see... Oh, your oh, egg. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I want to check my egg. Yes. Okay. You want to check your egg? <laughs> it is time. I love that you're just like holding right, the can you make up, like, a <laughs> trainer <laughs> check to check your egg? Everybody stop! Yeah. <laughs> I need to Spot. check my egg. <laughs> uh, egg oh my god, I don't even remember how to do this. Oh. Read it and... We take literally like two weeks off checking. and we just have forgotten how to play everything. Yeah. Checking the egg. Oh, no. Yeah. <gasps> ah. It's all wrong. Jezza the goat. It was like Grace of all time. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So sweet. Oh. Uh, nice. Four successes. Wow. That is enough to get some information from me. Yay, egg check. When I find my Pokemon, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm so sorry. I hold up my little egg and you I rub think it I'd have my all face. Of this you give it a rattle, ready. Ready. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I had to add all those shake. visuals. And you look in the, the little viewfinder to see what little message you get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you boy, get later. Like a, like, what is it like? Fortune crackers. It's gonna be a little slip. <laughs> Outlook not good. <laughs> Fortune cookies. That's. Give it a little rub. Massage. Like, okay. A little <laughs> massage. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, roll a D8 for me. Oh, you don't have numbers on your D8, do you? Can I just roll a... No. <laughs> you need to roll a D8. Do we have any normal dice around here? Uh, can I computer roll a D8? Yeah, I'll roll one for you. Thanks. Yeah. You got a four. Did we paint I have a number. Yay, lucky. As it reaches the halfway mark of its <gasps> incubation oh process... Oh, my goodness. The Pokemon egg has become notably heavier and harder. Oh my God, no, this thing already <laughs> went down like a lot of leap. <laughs> symbolizing the robust growth occurring in its protective casing. This thing is going to be the heaviest Pokemon of the planet. <laughs> Imagine like, that just occurs like while you're like, you know, laboriously riding a bike up a mountain. It just like grows in mass. It just throws you off and just roll down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> You can head south or east. Can I still carry this egg, by the way? Yes, you, said you it was can. Like... It's, you made a little baby beyond for it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're fine. Okay, good. All right, I put it back in this little holster. Okay. Uh, so which way? You can head, uh, so you're sort of in, your path turns into a Y. It's like a Y intersection. Mm-hmm. There's trees block the middle, but there's paths that lead left and right. Both of them full of thick, long grass. Um, Let's go left. Okay. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> do, do you have a Pokedex button? Oh, so it's like, yes, oh, Pokedex. We used that... to. Talk. This is not it. <laughs> Calling all Cylons. <laughs> uh, I, I no. don't. Okay. No. Hello. 
<laughs> I am the one who did it. Hello. It's falling to the bottom of a well, I think. This is crazy. I'm scared. Can you imagine dropping a Pokéx down like the well in the middle of town? <laughs> <laughs> and only hear the bones like, YouTube, the evil Pokémon. YouTube, the evil Pokémon. That's good enough. That's fine. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Good. yeah. Uh, so okay, you so you have to roll a dice as you go through, and on a critical fail, you encounter a Pokemon. Oh, yay. <gasps> Going through the long hey, grass. Hey. Oh. Immediately. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Hey. What Pokemon are in this area? Let's roll a dice and find out. But again, we don't have dice with numbers on them, so this is a digital <laughs> we dice. We do actually. The floor of the system. Um, <laughs> Two. They got backed up. I mean, I'm pretty Two sure there's like five bags behind your yeah. green screen. That's true. This. Yeah. A D8. Boot, boot. Oh. Uh, I rolled already. I don't know why I put my hand out. And. Just <laughs> 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 Jen, mm. the battle commences mm. as we see. Jen, what Pokemon do you choose? Oh, Lottily. Lottily, I choose you. Caterpie. <laughs> Good job. And wedges out of a tree near some water. Look at little man. Lottily's over there. This will be the third Caterpie battle in a row on the channel. Yeah. Uh, just like the game. Just I like did. The game. I fought two caterpies, didn't I? Caterpie. It's so realistic. You don't want a caterpie. Can do I you? run? Uh, <gasps> you can, but it will cost you. You're better off just beating it and leaving. Fine, I'll beat it then. I <laughs> guess I'll knock <laughs> it out. <laughs> Have you already got a caterpie? Kick its face in. No. She doesn't want one. I don't just want fought one? two caterpies, so you ball. can definitely do this. Yeah, that's how I see it. Not a great ball. This caterpie is just crying in the back. <laughs> No one does All right, me. what movie are you going to use? What? Uh, <laughs> what movie am I going to use? I'm going to use... How far away am I? Four Pretty, steps, uh, as always. Great. I'm going to use Water Gun. Caterpie's going to wheedle closer to you and use String Shot. Great. Caterpie got Venomoth. two successes. I don't remember how to play this game. Uh, your combat Oh, the dice. So it's your training plus your... And that's the Pokemon. No, it's, it's, I thought that Caterpie would be a Five. threat yep. to Apple and Apple. Okay. Yes, mm. Caterpie would be remember. dangerous. Oh, okay. three successes. Four successes. Four. You win. How much damage do you do? Uh, nothing extra, but then there's. Is it that? Uh, that one was extra ranged, which you are at ranged. Yeah. Yep. So plus so one. So one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Plus. That's it, right? Which one did you use? What again? And that's your combat roll, so it's plus two. So it's one plus oh, two. Oh, so that's why it's an three. Yip, yip, yip. You do three damage. Uh, three damage. And then I can roll a dice. Okay. Because I hit. Grass cold is hands. resistant to water. So it does one less damage. Oh, that's fine. Cool. Hold on. Uh, roll a dice on a critical success as attack a slow. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? 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 Yeah. <gasps> Okie dokie, you do two damage. The caterpie still Suck inches it. towards you. And it tries I mean, to use string shot again. Oh no. Has it moved forward twice? <laughs> yes. Okay. And it uses string shot again, getting two successes. Melanie, I thought you loved all the Pokemon. Uh, I do, but sometimes in the heat of battle it can get <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Our three successes. What did, yeah. You hit it again. Woohoo! And then like, rawr, 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 as the caterpie the sways to one side and falls over. <sighs> Did I kill it? It's knocked out. Blue, 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 Oh. That was Done. Battle over! Yay! Oh my god. It's all the noise. Uh, you get one experience for your Pokemon. I didn't I didn't mean to. <laughs> Lot of all of my sound big. effects don't work. Oh, it's all right. I'll fix it later. There is a stationary thing that, yeah, yeah. Do you want to hand out some pet? That's not going to help me. Junk. Yeah, I think that might be all right. My arm doesn't get any longer. I don't... I'll just take it, thanks. By the way, does my mic sound okay? Does everyone hear me? I think so. I hear you. Okay, I might cool. turn you up a little bit. But yeah. I give Little Leap a big hug. Caterpie is not grass type. Oh yeah, Caterpie's a bug. bug type. Whoops. 
Oh well, Caterpie well, faint, fainted either out. way. I super duper knocked it out. <laughs> Lollip. It's icon. Icon's green. Lollip just smashed it. Uh, okay, there you go. Well, if someone else want to take did it. the yeah, leap? Yeah, that, that's literally. I, I think <laughs> I think GM overall, Jen, you can keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that you, you, you basically did nothing in the last episode, and yeah. for you to get eight seconds uh, of being in the lead is a, a bit silly for a caterpie. Yeah. Uh, all right, so caterpie. Looking ahead, you look out over a lake, mm-hmm. uh, and you can't seem to cross it. But there is a pokeball, a little container down on the bottom of the path. <gasps> Ooh, uh, I would like to go get said pokeball. I think I see something. Okie dokie. You will get an item. Oh, great. I shake it up and As then you vigorously. open the item. Oh, do I get to I'm giving you <gasps> This is very exciting. These are our RNG buckets of fun. <laughs> well, you're getting the third one from the top. Dave ominously shuffles the items. A leper berry. Yay. Yeah. Thanks. There you go. Oh, it's so cute. But there is nothing else here. You see uh, the lake looks out uh, into the distance, and on the left you can see the route continues, but the trees get a bit thinner in the distance as the um, as the forested grass gives way to rocky hill and the colour of the ground starts to become more of the brown of dirt and then the sort of um, tan of stone and dust as it raises into a more arid part of the land. But Ooh. there's no way to get there from where you are. Mm, okay. Looks Turn like around. there's another biome over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to get over there without assistance. And uh, Little Leap is a uh, little too little to help us, I think, at this point. Little time. Leap is a little. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. <laughs> We turn around. But definitely okay. definitely okay. can't take all of us. So you head back across the patch of grass, roll a dice. Uh oh. It's going to be another caterpie. That cocked and wasn't half. even on anything. <laughs> no. All right. And you arrive back to see a child uh, who is nursing a new caterpie that he's added to his collection. <laughs> Um, it's still limp like, and unconscious. I wave the kid down. I don't know if we already asked this, if we have. But Hi, whatever. what are you doing? Hey, um,. We're trying to find the gym leader. I don't know what you're talking about. There's only bugs here. His name is... That's not a real person name. <laughs> what, what do you mean it's a real person Watches. name? It's not a real person name. Okay, do, you know, do you know Lucas? No. Okay, do you know the other kid's name? Wait, Luca? Silas? Luca! Yeah, Luca was Luca. one of the boys that was on the ship. We used to play in, like, the kids club okay. on the ship okay. uh, but ever since we got to this island he's saying he's got to become a good Pokemon trainer Aww. and he's not wanted to play anymore that's a bit sad I'm sorry well he's a driven kind of guy I reckon he's going to go far also he's a bit older than me so um, I'm just more focused on bugs right now I think that's important you're a very reasonable kid just that's okay I mean of course I am I was written by an adult <laughs> <laughs> what does that uh, mean <laughs> So his parents, <laughs> you've never seen his parents, his dad before? I don't care. <laughs> it's just fair, fair. Okay, all right. Do you want to talk about bugs or are you leaving like everyone else? <laughs> wow. You know what? Tell me. Like the adults. <laughs> tell me a bug fact. Okay. Caterpie can shoot string and it produces a silken thread that can tie things up and make them stop moving. Wow. But that was actually mind blowing. But caterpie that. doesn't actually eat other bugs; it just eats leaves, so it uses it mostly for defense. Okay, cool. Thank you. I've got four caterpies. That's a <laughs> lot of caterpies. Hey, we're gonna go now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch a caterpie. Yeah, have fun, buddy. <laughs> he loves caterpies. He sure does. Um, Best of luck to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing his retirement, like 
How many caterpillars does someone <laughs> like that end up it's with? It's just him on a, you know, butterflies. A chair. You, you know, by yeah, you can have like a butterfly. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think of like everyone laughs at him, and then he's like an old man. He's like, hey, laughing as butterflies like carrying him by the shoulders yeah. like <laughs> angels. He goes with grocery bags in his hands and is flying him back from the store. You can have like an up story, but instead of balloons, yeah, it's, it's just butterflies. Butterfly. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you're yeah. going to head. What direction can? Is it just going back? Back to where you came, or you can head north. Let's head north. Okay. You head back through some long grass. Yay. Reeds whipping at your legs as you roll to see if you encounter another Pokemon. So it's two dice now, yeah? Yes. Boop. Yes. Is that another yeah. critical fail? Yeah. Critical yeah. fail. So All right. <laughs> this time we encounter a different Pokemon. And that one is so cool. It is really cool. I love that we listeners, we are like all good. dancing. <laughs> I love that we it. look like we're all actually at a dance party, like in yeah. the same at the we're same party. Yeah. Can we bop in the same direction? Um, I think Murray and I have to be opposite. Yeah. <laughs> this opposite. Pokemon isn't here. That's but I, I swear you guys are painted. What is it? Oh, you can't tell me, can you? Do we not have it? Uh-oh. We might. Is it outside on the shelf? It could be. Is there more on the shelf? Container. Ah, uh, there might the be some behind you. <laughs> behind me? Maybe. Yeah, in the shelf. I don't know. Oh, good. Oh, careful. There yeah. are, oh, my God. There's, there's heaps of them. It's a Cyclops. He opened the portal. Do you have the one you need? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you stumble through the grass and... As Melanie is walking onwards, you see what looks like a pair of big mushrooms growing out of a rock, swaying gently to and fro. And as you get closer to the mushrooms, suddenly these little yellow crab claw things come up and there's a rah, rah, as you see a strange, uh, almost lobster-like Pokemon with a couple of these big red mushrooms growing out of its back as it rears up and looks Yay. at you. Oh, my God. That is... Mm. I actually don't know what that is. Lotta Leap, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> and you send out Lotta Leap! Yee. All right! Oof. And you are, as usual, the four mighty steps away from each other as this mysterious Pokemon that no one knows what it is... Bless uh, her, at it, least she's enthusiastic. Uh, ...sits there, yeah. I would like to one? use my Pokedex. All right. Nice. Use your Pokedex. You point it at the creature... I mean, I could, I, you know, I'll, I'll let the robot do it. Took a job. Paris, the Spore Pokemon. It is unknown if Paris is harmed by the mushrooms growing parasitically off its back. Some people like to harvest and eat these mushrooms. Ooh. Wow. So... Food. Nice. You gonna catch it? I'm gonna try. I mean, anecdotally, the, the fact that the mushrooms are parasitic sort of implies that they are actually harming it, but, uh, you know. Oh, okay. I'm sure smarter people oh, than me know what's going on That here. the mushrooms are harming it. Yeah, if they were helping, they'd be symbiotic. Gotcha. Oh. If you catch the Pokemon, can I eat its uh, mushrooms? Didn't you just say they were bad to eat? I said they were hurting the crab thing. Yeah, and if you cook <laughs> them, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, we're on a desert island, and I haven't had a meal for a while. But let, let's let's see if I catch it first. Okay. Yeah. Brad's in lobster and mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the apple is going to have to hide from Brad. <laughs> it doesn't eat his apple. Delicious. Let's go. First round of combat, the Paris shakes its back and the mushrooms sway side to side oh, and no. this cloud of spores enters the air and floats over towards Lottalip <laughs> as it uses poison powder. Mm -hmm. What are you using? Uh, I'm going to use Bubble Beam, so I'm going to use a spirit to use Oh, and it also beam. moves closer in the bargain before it does that. <laughs> Whee! Down the hill. All right. <laughs> Pete got three successes. Stampede in the gorge. Lottalip's down there. I got four. Four successes. So you hit. Do you mm. move, have you moved towards it? You're staying distant. Ah, staying distant, yeah. Cool. Um, so I do, How much damage? Uh, do we have just a regular dice? Where have the regular dice gone? Jen's done the... She's in one of the compartments. Yeah. Um, four damage. 
four damage. Well, creature damage plus three plus the range. Lucky, attacks, it's, right? lucky it's resistant to it, so it takes three damage. Oh, uh, and it's got armor, so it only takes two damage. And then it can have slow if I succeed, which I do not. And you hit it. And as you as the bubbles hit it, they almost stir up more of these spores. Oh, no. And nothing happens. Okay. All right. Next round of combat. Mm -hmm. It's going to walk towards you a little bit closer and uh, attempt to do the same thing again. Cool. I'm going to take a step back. That's but, currently banned. But, oh. <laughs> 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 Boo. Um, no backpedaling for you. <laughs> I'm just going to use water gun this time. Two, not. two OP and you can just stay out of range of the ones that don't so have like melee attacks. You just <laughs> get an advantage if you have ranged attacks of a couple Look of times. Look how cute. Water gun. Water gun. <laughs> Uh, three successes. You for me. hit no successes for me. Ooh, uh, so three damage this time. Three damage, which is reduced to one damage. And I don't slow it. And as that big cloud of spores flies in the air, nothing happens again. How's it looking? Uh, it's looking a little bit hurt, but it's hard for you to tell without having used anyone's abilities to better gauge its stats. <laughs> uh. Can I do that? Hold on. You can. Suddenly the entire cast look down to check oh. their hand of cards. <laughs> <laughs> you have the one that... Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, the catch rate. Right. Um, so do I use that instead of attacking for the No, no, you, just, you use well. it as set, but I think it uses your spirit from your character. So you, you can't oh, sure. I'm not sure if that one's free or not. I don't actually know. I'm happy to. No, no oh, none of them are, aren't they? None of them are what? Sorry. Free. None of them are free. Except for flames. Oh, yeah, okay. None of them are free. Um, so I will use a spirit then to use my ID ability. I have a free skill. Uh, that's your, it's an item. And that, ah. it's just like a character specific one. Ah. So you're wrong! Sorry. <laughs> Are you getting it up? I'm trying. I have to succeed first. So I, I am so annoyed at this. So I'm going to whinge about it. So I can't open a document in Google Sheets because it says this file is too large. Can you download and then open? It's got to open it and drive first. There's no Excel on this. No. No, I can't open it. Oh. It won't even download as PDF. It's just bizarre. It's fine. I have a different version of okay, the file. Okay, I succeeded. So, yeah, you are going to have to get that file. Up so what does your ability do? Uh, it. What is it called and what does it do? You've never used it before. Yes, I've used it like once or twice before. Tell me. Anyway, tell me more. Uh, it's called... I did G Genus? Genus. Genus. Yep. Genus. Um, and on a success, the GM reveals the type and status of the target Pokemon as well as their catch rate. Okay, so this is a bug grass type Pokemon Paris. And you reveal its type and status mm -hmm. and its catch rate. Catch rate. And its catch rate is three. Which means you need to roll three dice and get three successes to oh catch it. Oh my goodness. All right, and it goes up each time I try to catch it, is that right? No, it just no. reduces as you reduce its health. Yeah. Okay. Great. And the better the Pokeball. Hmm? Let's go again. Okay. Next time. Same ability again. Yes. And it's going to move one step closer, so it's almost Jason. No. And use Poison for again. No, use Water Gun. That all aggressive. four successes. Bugger. Thank you, one. Oh. Thank All right. Oh. So you are now inflicted with poison <gasps> one. Okay. So that means every turn, Lottalip takes one damage at the start of the turn. Does it end outside of the combat? Nope. Whoa. Holy just like the Pokemon game, you will just faint. That sucks. If you keep walking. Okay. Cool. So Melanie's going to be walking around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, in this tabletop version, it's actually quite difficult to be poisoned and there's some one of you surely got an anti-poison berry already mm -hmm. mm. do you yes no nice. yes the ranger has one cool you can do a berry trade <laughs> all right next round what are you doing as a lot of leap takes one damage mm -hmm. you know i'm gonna say no because it'll but it stays but it doesn't hurt you outside of combat does that yeah. make sense yeah yeah, yeah. so it, you will still be poisoned when you but go into when the next fight but yeah. your pokemon won't faint mm -hmm. that makes sense in, That's yeah. what I expected. Yeah. yeah. Water gun. Okay. It's now it it's move. now moves adjacent to you, mm -hmm. and it's going to use scratch. Oh no! 
as its claw swipes down at another leap. Three successes for me. Got four successes. And it does three damage. Oh. Do you have defense? One. Yep, so it does two to you. Okay. Uh, summon four. Okay. Um, and scratch is a oh. normal type move, so it doesn't do super effective. And then I take one for poison, right? At the start of the turn, you take one from poison. Someone yep. three. You took three damage that turn. Yep. yep. Next turn. Okay. Um, Oof. I am gonna use. <laughs> I'm gonna use massage. Okay. <laughs> and give my give little leap a quick little massage. <laughs> okay. What's massage do? Um, so massage is two spirit to use on a, on a success. Uh, I restore two HP and one spirit to target. Oh, it's a Ooh. bench Pokemon. He's yeah, not bench. Yeah, you can't do it. You can't <gasps> no. give a massage to a Pokemon in combat. That'd be pretty funny. Just runs out like a increase hold up, hold up, moves. Hold up. <laughs> 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 <Time out. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. It's Looney Tunes cloud around them. Yeah. Maybe Paris can do the massage. We'll keep going. <laughs> what are you using? Ow. Uh, yeah. Because it's using Scratch again. Uh-oh. I am going to defend, and I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. I see you just, yep, okay. Yeah. Pokeball time, just a regular Pokeball? Just a regular Pokeball, yeah. Risky. That is very risky. So you, I can now reveal to you that this Paris is injured. It is below half health, but it is not on one health. Mm-hmm. So that means it reduces the catch rate by one. Mm-hmm. So its catch rate is two. Yep, that's fine. So you roll two dice and you need both to succeed to catch the Paris. No, wait, I roll two dice. Oh. Oh, yeah. Discreetly. I can't. First, she rolls to see if she hits. Roll to see if you hit. That's right. With two dice or with? With your, your no. trainer ability. Yeah. Uh, so you've got three successes. So you got to get three or more. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. Oh, yeah! Hey, four. 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 Crush that. Okay. So you get plus two for the Pokeball as well. So you are fine. Okay. Yeah, you should have like eight dice or something. So you throw the Pokeball. Mm-hmm. The Pokeball lands. Mm-hmm. Hits the Paris. Bounces to the ground. We've got awesome 8 bit sound effects. I know. And the Pokemon immediately breaks out. The ball smashes. Instantly broken out. Unfortunate. Did you have just the one ball? Just the one, yeah. Oh, no. Wait, that was your only Pokeball? Yeah, you're only only giving us one. Why did you you do that? Why? Because, I don't know. We don't have any Pokeballs. (laughs) All right. You're still in a battle. Roll for your, uh, the Paris. What? Uh, roll to defend the Paris with Lodley. Oh. You're uh, still in combat. Yeah. Also, I'm happy for you guys to pass people things. So if someone wants to do a tradesy backsies, like here's a Pokeball if you yeah. want it, then Jen can get you back. But I, it's up to you. I would give mm-hmm. you a Pokeball if I had So one. you, they, Paris got three, you got two. Yeah, correct. So Paris hits you for another two damage after defense. You could, can I just suggest, oh, you know, you were defensive. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. That's fine. This uh, is uh, this brutal. I know. Um, it says on a roll a dice on a success, I get plus one armor until the end of combat. That's, What's that? Is that if I succeed? Uh, it's under defended. What are you talking about? You, so you, I have, I, you said I use defense. defense that isn't curl. a thing. You can't use an ability when you throw a Pokeball. Your Pokemon oh, just stands okay. there and does so nothing. So it's just a normal combat oh, roll. Okay. But yeah, you just don't take With damage. With no effect. Okay, yeah. cool. So next round, you mm-hmm. take one damage. Poison. A lot of leaps out. It's not a leap. Only had three health. <gasps> no, he had seven. But we've been, you've been ticking it down. So it took three poison. and then three. It should be on one. Okay. Because poison. poison. Yeah. Poison. So it's I've done three damage, but lot of leap has one defense, so it becomes two, then one from poison, and gotcha. then that again. That's happened twice. It's six okay. damage. So total you weren't you've counting taken. your defense. You weren't. No. Take, yeah. So you're on one health. Lot okay. of leaps on one. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's intense. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Come on! Have you got two Pokemon? You got this, Melanie! Applin's out. Really? Applin's not fainted. He's not fainted, but he's got like three health. Oh, you already have a second Pokemon. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use... I'm going to use Bubble Beam again. It's going to use Scratch. Mm -hmm. One success. Oh, come on! That's right. I got four. And in a... Foaming pile of bubbles no. spraying into oh. this thing. How much damage do you do? Ah, uh, four. Do you? It's not at range anymore. Uh, no, oh, a- no, so three, three, just three. Paris takes the hit. 
It is still standing. Oh no. Now Paris is on one health. Does does someone want to catch? But you want Paris? Melanie! I mean, you've been Do you want another Pokeball? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, gravy, gravy. <laughs> I throw Melanie a Pokeball. A you catch Melanie. Yeah, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> what Melanie's catch <laughs> What is Melanie's catchphrase? Oh, my, no. What is Melanie's Thank you. Paris <laughs> is going to use Scratch. Uh-huh. Well, what are you going to do? Lotta leaves out. Lotta leaf faints. Yeah, start around. So Applin gets sent out. Yep. Lotta leaf faints. Uh-oh. Dramatic. And an apple appears. Yes. With what, one health? Yeah, I think it's like one health, yeah. <laughs> Were you allowing this to be done in solo battles or just? Yes, if you spend uh, if you spend the spirit. Yes, I decided you guys okay. can all use your abilities in each other's battles because it costs spirit. I yeah, will... okay, okay. So then okay. It, it's a, it costs you something to help an ally. I so will spend the spirit cool. to use hyper. Won't that make it do more damage? She's throwing oh. a Pokeball. <laughs> it's, it's I fine. will not it's hype fine. up. So you, but you can have just to like, roll to hit. I will just verbally hype up. Yeah, good strategy. <laughs> Go, Melody. So your trainer skill? I wish I knew that because I, I could have helped. Well, in the lessons, battle of the ages, learned. A crab How many times know. can a trainers help? Like, could we, in theory, all do something? In sure, because you run out of spirit pretty quickly. Yeah, okay. Uh, one, two, three, your four, Your Pokeball five. hits. <gasps> The Pokeball Maybe. slams down on the wounded Paris. Lotta Leap has been returned. It wobbles once. It wobbles twice. It wobbles three times. It sits still in the long grass. I hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and a little crack of light spreads out. And then, as the Pokemon is caught. Yay! Yay! You got your Paris. We're you did it, Melanie. Scared from the time you baited uh, us. I would encourage you to name it Hilton. And you uh-huh. owe. <laughs> <laughs> and you owe. Uh, you owe Victor a Pokeball. Yes, I do. And with wounded and crippled Pokemon, Melanie, you probably want to step back from the front and let uh, whoever's next yeah, thing over. Uh, I'm going to take it easy for a while, so whoever wants to go next, I uh, can. That will be me. You can also massage off. I was about to ask. Can yeah, I paint, yeah. please pull out Lotta Leap and give her a Lotta little... Lotta Leap s- is now fainted, so you can't... You need to revive I'll to get Lotta Leap I'll give a massage up. to Apple. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you this. While you may wish oh, to train your Paris... Uh, may, while you may wish to train your Applin, Paris is much stronger than Applin, as you note from the stats. So How much health did Paris have before? I you? think they both had one health. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's more that Paris is a better Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, right. Paris um, is tier two, Applin is tier one. How do you Are massage? Oh no, they're both tier two. They're both tier two. Just sort of. So it's up to you. Wait, no, not so you can do Applin. <laughs> if you want to rock with Applin, do Applin. You want Applin? You want Applin? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I don't <laughs> know. Applin so though. bad though. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> is it? Two attacks. It's so you take a one attack, right. and then now. he just withdraws. <laughs> yeah. Don't, Wait, don't is all it got withdraw? An astonish. Yeah, but it has it has six health, which it is irrelevant because it's wounded. It's got no defense. It's um, no attack bonus. Yeah, it's good. It's yep. a great Pokemon. It's a good little apple. You, really need no you can just be, you can just defense curl it up and then stun. I don't know. No, I'll do Paris. Okay. It's the smarter thing to do until we have a Pokemon Center. Um, yeah, so I'll give Paris a little massage on his little dumpy dumps. <laughs> <laughs> so much. You ingratiate the Paris <laughs> to your... Uh, Stop it, Brett. What? Did one of the mushrooms fall off? The Pokedex no. said it was no. edible. No. Can we... Does I it, then it won't it be a There's still like a, a thick cloud of poisonous spores floating around from the battle. Hey, dripping, like falling out of the mushrooms. <laughs> I don't think we should. I'm really hungry. I don't think you're that hungry, though. Uh, not yet, but soon. You could eat a leaf. What? That might be poisonous. Are you kidding me? You think the mushrooms aren't poisonous? I'm You're me- holding these massive <laughs> plump berries that are just like um, the size of an apple, but a juicy berry. Look, what? I'm only 10, but they're kind of little not, poisonous. I don't have any Oh, you don't have any berries. Have like no berries. Okay. What did we get sent out here to do by the concierge? 
Nothing. <laughs> just you, you ran past. The guy was like, don't go out here. It's too dangerous. And you ran past. You snuck past them. Were we getting Pokemon to come back and then help with tasks We're around? To... You were trying to prove that you're useful, basically. Wait, okay. does Paris have the cut thing? No. But... Ah, but it is grab it can, it can only scratch. I will give you a piece of information uh, that will be relevant. And you have unwittingly... Uh, solved a conundrum that was going to come up, which is you actually needed a Pokemon who could learn Cut. Paris oh. is on that list. Yay. So you can, when you oh, do buddy. get Cut, you already now have a Pokemon that can learn it, whereas you didn't nice. before. Okay. So. Well, if you're getting hungry, we could head back. Well, there's no mechanical benefit to heading yeah, back. There isn't, there's no, there's no way to heal there. anyone. I think we forge forward. <laughs> Out okay. of character. And you're almost I think we room. head back and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just started. I know. It's, is it getting dark? No, it's been like oh, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's God, middle God, of the day. God, like, like if I, yeah, from here I can like see the guy standing. At the All camp. right, Mr. <laughs> Confident, you lead the way. You think you can get us out of this mess so quickly? I do. <laughs> Come on, Luke, let's go. See if you can lead us to some food. <laughs> All right, and we go... All right, <laughs> and you've journeyed through that group of grass and the trees wind around to the right and there's sort of a narrow path between dense foliage that's travelled by animals uh, and is quite easy to traverse rather than the left and right, which are these full of thick brush and foliage. Although you do see there's one little break in this dense foliage. There's some thorn bushes and, and low-lying plants that make it impossible to par uh, cross between some big trees. There's one spot you would be able to cross into what looks like a clearing where a rather... Um, it's sort of a, a circle, a grove, if you will, a semicircle to full circle of trees with grass uh, growing up the sides of a really gentle mound that it comes to a point in the centre of this grove with a break in the canopy giving almost a golden beam of sunlight coming down to the centre of this and highlighting that in the centre of the long grass in this area, uh, there's this rock and nestled on the rock with some moss on it is... A sl an old looking Silphco Pokeball capsule that would contain an item. Uh, and it's got like God rays from above oh going down on it in the center of this thing. I'd and love if it contains cut. <laughs> but in front of this, and the only way into this circular grove of trees, is, uh, is a rather crutch punchy looking little tree uh, <laughs> blocking your passage. <laughs> However, you can head straight forward, but it might be worth taking the mental note. Uh, that there is a lovely little nice. area there. Mm. Well, we'll mark that one down for later. <laughs> and you push forward. You do. And as you travel onwards, walking... Many a wistful glances back <laughs> to the loot. And you travel onwards uh, past the trees and the map, the area sort of opens up a little bit. And ahead of you, you can see one of those little slopes that you could jump down but wouldn't be able to come back up. Uh, and directly in front, as you would look forward, sort of imagine it's an S-bend. You can walk down this, this hill that's slowly tapering down, or you can just jump the slopes and skip that. And there's some long grass down the S-bend that you'd skip by jumping down the two slopes. Uh, but at the very top, looking at a magazine and then looking up and looking at a magazine and looking up, uh, you see a rather peculiar looking man uh, with a large bug net and a little book of bugs, and he's sort of sniffing around looking for insects. I'm glad he's got a book of bugs, because otherwise he'd look quite sinister. <laughs> His name is Predator. <laughs> Bug boy grew up really fast. <laughs> uh, but he currently hasn't locked eyes with you. He's looking down, he's looking south towards some long grass. And you could avoid him if you wanted to. Uh, you, you Basically, you could avoid him now, but because of the way the slopes work, you won't be able to avoid him on the way back. All right. Uh, let me see. Well, I could probably have a go at this guy. You could take him. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to, though. Mm, mm. Of course, he does look snake. very sketchy. Like, I see. Avoid no. conflict at all costs. You say avoid everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brad. What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. So we could 
avoid a couple of encounters and see what's further down here. I kind of want to go past this guy. But it just sort of depends. Like, someone will have to have a go with him coming back. But do we just sort of nip it in the bud now? Well, maybe he can also answer some of our questions too. Maybe he's the Nip it in the, the bud because he's clearly a bug. Oh, ha ha ha. That was a funny joke. Uh, he, look, I'm not ruling out the possibility that this young Sketchy boy guy. is, in fact, a gym leader, but. <laughs> All right. Do it. Your choice. You know what? When in the Pokemon equivalent of Rome. You walk on up, and as you get close to this man, he stiffens and straightens. With his middle finger, it rises towards his face, protrudes from his hand, and then oh. pushes his glasses <gasps> up to the front of his nose. And there is a sheen of light that reflects like a blade across his his glasses Rude. as they reflect. And then he turns towards Did you and he said, and he, he just totally flipped you off. No, he didn't flip you <laughs> he off. He, he totally he flipped just you off. Real, <laughs> really this is my emotion. What's <laughs> flipping you off? Claire, Claire, did you while flipping you the bird? This guy is. A bird. And then his glasses turned on LEDs. <laughs> I like cover Stormy's eyes. <laughs> I guys see anything. I might manage to look through my binoculars. You'll find out when you're older. It's a very rude gesture. Well, it would appear a challenger has approached the mighty me. Yeah, right. We're, we're doing this. <laughs> and he turns sharply. Let's see what your Pokemon can do against my mighty bug type Pokemon. Let me guess, you have a Caterpie. <laughs> <laughs> of course, a foolish casual like you would think I would have a Caterpie. No, I have a far more advanced insect Pokemon. One that will surely be the match of your trash. Metapod. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Two that would be and trash. That's rude. Well, we'll just have to show him otherwise, won't mm -hmm. we, Stormy? Mm -hmm. Oh no, Dave's opening the void. Uh oh. Ah. His name is Martin the Magnificent. That's great. What are you talking about? Boss. Flashback. Martin, morning. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> and he challenges you to a Pokemon battle. No, I challenge him. Right, let's see what you can do, Pokemon Ranger. Summoning. You have a few options. I'm going to send out an ambush. Yeah. Simply because Nutbush. Nutbush. <laughs> Nutbush has the most health. Nutbush City now. <laughs> Nutbush City limits. It's really There's funny. There's so many Pokemon that The Nutbush is way bigger in Australia. That everyone does dance, but other countries. Nutbush. Yeah, they like dancing really? too much. Yeah. It's just an Aussie thing. Well, it, but I don't think it, it wasn't made Australian it, by Australians. No, it's, it's just, just Australians made who love the dance. Yeah. yeah. I will choose a Pokemon that is perfectly adapted to battling in this low light. Venonat, with your radar-like eyes, I choose you. And he throws a Pokeball out, and a large, fluffy ball of a Pokemon, a Venonat, appears. So cute. So big. That is such what, a surprisingly cute novel. Uh, oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, oh, look he's big. pretty cool. Large purple boulder. <laughs> so fluffy. Let's see what you can do. It's like a pom pom with Pinch his cheeks. Uh, I'm gonna use the Pokedex to see what this thing does. You'd use your yeah. Pokedex, okay. Venonat, the insect Pokemon. Venonat is said to have evolved with a coat of thin, stiff hair used for its protection. Its large eyes can be used like radar to see in the dark. Interesting. Venonat! <laughs> Oh my god, this one almost said its own name. Wasn't that impressive? <laughs> <laughs> Venonat, youth confusion! <clears throat> Throws a finger out. Wow. Oh. Alright. Now, Bush, use Leech Seed. Alright. To trigger happy with his fingers. So. And move a step forward. <laughs> uh, Venonat Ooh. uses confusion. Oh no. And gets three successes. Does Venonat move a step forward? No. Oh, sorry. Can I have some dice to use for my Pokemon? <laughs> Venonat puts its little hands up. Venonat, Venonat, and like rubs its face, and the eyes just start glowing red, and these like pulses of energy start floating forward towards Numbush. Numbush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Oh, two. Two. Oh, no. You are hit, and it does three damage, Ooh. and it is psychic type. Oof. Uh, do you have defense? Yes. So you only take two, and then I roll a dice. On a critical success, it causes confusion. It did not. Next round. That's right, Numbush. Show this loser with his weird Pokemon I've never seen. Why bug Pokemon are the best Pokemon. I appreciate you encouraging my Pokemon, but you, you should probably encourage your, your own as well. Ah, he's just trying to confuse us, Venonat. Venonat, use poison powder. Oh, I think this Venonat's affected his own master. <laughs> poison powder, what are you using? Uh, let me see, I'm what, two spaces away? I'm going to move up one more. You start you're four, three. so you're three currently. Yep, you're three. now two. Yeah, and I can only use Leech Seed at this distance. Ooh. Four. Nice. Ooh. Four successes. You hit, and it is... A 50-50 shot to be seeded or seeded guaranteed? Uh, uh, it is seeded guaranteed. Whether seeded works is another thing. Oh, every turn, yeah. Yeah, cool. You, It is seeded. And at the start of the turn, I roll a dice, or you roll a dice. Uh, seeded Pokemon rolls a dice. Okay, I roll a dice, and I got a success. Cool. Okay, nothing. Okay, nothing happens this turn. Next I'm turn. I'm a little lost. What's seeded? Seeded is a leech seed. Uh, every turn I roll a dice, if I fail, I lose a health, he gains a health. Oh, nice. Mm. Uh, you succeeded. Better than that. One more try with that poison powder. You can do it. All right. I believe in you. Oh, I'm going to hype you up. I'm right. going to use spirit now to hype Oh, up. you're doing hype up? Yay. Very good. Oh. So you gain plus one damage. This oh. round. Oh, nice. That's great. Well, I'm going to use uh, teamwork. Can I use teamwork on my own? What thing with the say? Pokemon? Target exactly two ally Pokemon. No. <laughs> Given that it says target exactly two ally. Like yeah. Double battle. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> exactly oh, two. Right. I have an ability that is so literally exactly, impossible so far. Yeah, it works in double battles. Yes. Remember, Enjoy. shockingly, we are still in Dave's theoretical tutorial and double battles <laughs> haven't been introduced yet, but we're going to be heavily prevalent because there's four players. Ooh, right, we'll get out of the tutorial it's in episode fine. eight. All right. <laughs> Boom. Pencil. All right. I'm going to move Poison powder. A stationary and box a bit further vibrant. away. Oh, I got four successes. Thank you. I got three. Ooh. Plus, well, did you and you want to know? I'm, mm -hmm. Oh no! Wait, I'm. You want to know something yeah. cool that I just am telling people because no one's ever going to find out otherwise. So, um, poison powder has critical miss, which means for every critical fail I get, it takes away a success. But Venonat's ability is compound eyes that says it ignores the critical miss rule. Ooh. Poop. So, Poop. Venonat gets four successes. I am going to use a knack to give you four to successes. Match. Yes. Okay. I can't remember if we discussed if you could do that, but it makes sense, and I'm happy for you to be able to use your knack and grit, given that they're not regenerating at this stage. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you can use a knack to match. Yep. That means you both hit each other. To cool. both attack So sure. you are poisoned, but your vine whip also hits. And you do extra damage. Mm. Yep. So I will do, what, one extra damage? Mm -hmm. I will do five <sighs> damage. What? <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's Plus one. a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, I've got some bad news for you, though. Uh oh. Whoa. Venonat is double resistant to grass, so it Humble. takes negative two damage. What? It also has armor, ah. so it only takes two damage. Yeah, it's it's got two hundred percent resistance to um to grass type. It's bug poison type, so it's doubly resistant oh to grass. This goodness. is the most brutal tutorial I've ever. <laughs> <been>. <laughs> There's Venonat's hit. What other person? And you're poisoned. Okay. Do you have a? You, this is the, all these fights. Are the, also, he was flipping you off. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work, Venonat. Uh oh. Cool. All right. This new round. However, it is weak to flying and fire type moves. You're just giving that us to us for free? <laughs> well, poison bug, yeah. Thanks. Alright. I'm going to use my ability quick swap. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna change Numbush out for Ekans. Ooh, Ekans. 
Like, oh, right, I and hope Atkins, Atkins comes in. bites this thing. It'd be so funny. It's the purple off. <laughs> wow. Currently has Does more health and a better type advantage. At the same <laughs> location? Yes. Yeah, okay. Cool. I should be in contact. All right, so quick swap is an ability that you have unique to your class. That means you don't lose the turn to swap your Pokemon so you can still act. And your poison Pokemon is now benched, which means it won't be taking damage, but uh, you are poisoned. So that does mean seeded. No, seeded stays, I think. I don't uh, think Leech yeah. Seed ends when, no, when no, it, no. it's on the Pokemon. Turn. So I'm still seeded. So at the start of my turn... I fail. I fail, yay! So I lose a life. And it goes to the original. Ekans, Ekans, Ekans the gains a life. Really? Cool. All that's right. Seated is it applied to ah. a Pokemon. It's not a link. Okay. It's weird, but that's just... It was you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay, so um, this is a way to heal your Ekans, is to be in this mm. trainer battle. Hell yeah. All right. And Ekans, use bite. Sorry, mate, you, you <laughs> turn around. I, I know you, you came out of that way in the Pokeball, but he's behind you. You face me. There, there we go. Oh. <laughs> You're <getting> close there. Say <laughs> <laughs> that. This snake looks stupid. Use confusion. <gasps> I'm going stupid. Then that gets three successes. Does Ekans have any teeth? He's <sighs> <laughs> not. It's a constrictor, so no. probably not. Oh, but then it, so then how does it bite? With a gum. gums, like, like <laughs> constrictors? Oh, I'm thinking it just like unhinges his jaw and just like... <laughs> like a sock bucket. That was a success, <laughs> but you still... Oh, no, that's three. Three. So you both got three. Ooh. So uh, you're adjacent now, so it's four damage from the Venonat with confusion. Ah, but I also have Intimidate. Which does minus one to attack. To, to attack. <laughs> okay, so three damage. And do you have armor? No. Okay, so three damage. And what did you do? How much did you do? Uh, I did four. Four with bite. Yeah. Which is dark typing, which is at least Oof, zero. It's normal type. Yeah, four damage. Oh, it does have armor, so that's reduced by one. Uh, and I roll a dice, and on a critical success, you're confused. You are not confused. <laughs> okay, so I'm on one, uh, two health. What are you on? Uh, you did three damage to me. Total, yeah. I'm on one because of seeded. Seeded oh, saved you. Yay. All right. Start of the next turn. Whoa. Seeded. Intense. Critical success. So I do not. I could have. Yeah, but I did not use confusion. Yeah. Uh huh. Did that take into account the super effective? Because it's against psychic. Against oh, you're weak. Poison. Are you weak to psychic? Mm. See, so just one time, so it's one extra damage. Uh-oh. There we go. So Ekans faints. Oh, yeah. no. oh. Why'd you do that to yourself, man? You're too Why was noble. I honest? <laughs> well, I feel noble. like was. Did we get Ekans last session? Yeah. Would he have been? On... No. Oh, he was on full health. Okay. No, he was on three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Rip. It's like Numbush comes back out. Yeah. All right. Ah! With how much health? Uh, two. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to use. Go on, ambush. Supersonic. I'm uh, going to hype up again to try and give you a damage bonus. What are you going to use? Um, let me see. I, how, I, I'm going to. I'm pitching in too. Oh, yeah, we're going to really really go. This is it. gripping protective strategy. Strategy. There's no R in strategy. <laughs> um, <laughs> You are uh, strat- target ally gains one defense this round. Oh. So I'm using supersonic, so hold that for next round if ah. it keeps going. I'm just trying to help. I'm trying to help. I'm trying yeah, to help. Yeah, okay. But damage no. Super- and damage is still That's okay. still good. Okay. Supersonic doesn't deal damage. It just confuses. Damage. Gotcha. All right, thank you. Cool. So you use supersonic. You got this, cool. Victor. One success. You're going to be the victor. I'm going to use <laughs> Vine Whip. Because unfortunately with the typing, I kind of need to. You can do it. <laughs> Two. Two. Okay. You hit. You How much damage do you do? Uh, I do four. Yep. Did you, you, you use I your thing? It, Five. Minus two, minus one for defense. So you do two damage. 
It has two health. With that yeah. smack of vine whip, yeah. Venonat shudders and then <laughs> Keter's over backwards. Oh boy. And uh, and this bug maniac leans forward and grabs the Venonat as it catches and puts it back in its Pokeball and then looks up at you, stands up straight, turns his back, throws a handful of notes and coins over his shoulder, pushes his glasses up and again he says, I need to readjust my strategy. <laughs> Wait, before you go. He's just standing there. He's not going anywhere. Readjusting your attitude, buddy. I need to try readjusting my strategy. Yeah, um, you guys can uh, talk to him if you want. I'm going to spend some time with um, Numbush and Ekans for a second. Well, looks like it's my turn to lead everyone. Okay. And I want to... (laughs) I, I want to use a, uh, what would it be? A, I guess just acuity mm-hmm. to sense where food is. <laughs> I want to know. Is acuity like a, intelligence. Go for it. All right. Challenge level two, because you're at the end of the route. Okay. While he does that, Mr. DM, I would like both XP and a pencil. Yes, please, pencil. Okay. So, challenge level two. I believe you get two each. I got oh, no, two. you get one. one. That, that is two. literally not a pencil. I don't. Jazza had the pencils. Jazza, where's the other pencil? There's a pencil. Yeah. I got two. Thank you. You got two? Yeah. You smell not food, but a fire coming from the direction you're heading already. Oh. I might be a uh, camp <laughs> up ahead of some sort. Follow me. And I head in that direction. Okie dokie. Yes, Jen. Bye, dude. <laughs> I don't think the, he wants to talk guy. to him. Do you actually interact with him no, at all? No, no, it's fine. I was just saying bye to him. So that's interacting with him. Yeah, say bye. 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 So you say bye, bye to him. He pushes his glass up and says, ha, I think I need to readjust my strategy. <laughs> you should probably just say that. He will not be added to the uh, Pokemon telephone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. This is not a recurring guest. Uh, okay, and you move on heading down the slope until... You reach the other side of that lake that Jen looked across earlier. Oh. Did Jen get XP as well for mm-hmm. her battle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go on. Cool. So the forest finally breaks, giving way to still foliage and trees, but it just becomes a lot less dense as the path begins to head upwards, getting more difficult and more rocky with each part of the journey. Until after a bit of walking and a bit of trekking, heading upwards, your legs starting to get sore. Mostly the grass gives way to dirt as you're in a much more arid, more savannery area uh, that is becoming quite hilly. Oh boy, this is exhausting and I'm hungrier than ever. I wonder where that camp is. I'm hungry for adventure. Keep going. Oh my God. You haven't eaten for two days. We've eaten lots of adventure. That's what the phrase means, I'm right? so hungry. Uh, both so wrong and so right at the same time, Stormy. <laughs> All right, keep going. You, you journey along yeah. through a uh, path where there's hills on the left and the right. There's a few rocks scattered here and there. You note in your walk, walking for five minutes or so, as you look up to the left, there is a sort of this rocky hill of sleet and shale, but in the middle of it, there is like a slip. So where most of it is solid, rock face, in the centre, there's this this slip of loose shale. Um, No, this one, the the environment one. (laughs) I'm I'm narratively describing. You notice this slip of shale. Um, that, yeah, this is still a role playing game. We don't need to go back to the Game Boy map every five minutes for podcast. I like the Game Boy map. Uh, I love the map. We've just got a new environment. Um, and it's you cool environment. can make make a make a wisdom something check. Um, mm. Just kind of recall just what of this could be environmentally, like what you could use it investigation. for. Investigation. Sure, wisdom investigation. Yeah. Okay. Challenge level two. I got one. one success. All right, anyone can attempt this, by the way, if they Wait, want what to. What are we attempting? We, to, to identify the, the shale that's hanging down the side of the rock. What's the, the check? Wisdom and whatever you think is appropriate. I don't even know for what identifying a shale is. Rocks and <laughs> you could use Pokemon Ranger as a skill, given that you're, yeah. you're a wilderness explorer. Oh, my God. Can I re-roll? I've got geologist. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you can add a. Is it one more dice or what's no, the it's difference actually in dice? The same okay. Roll, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll roll. Two. Two successes. Uh, however, Victor, you note that you often see kids uh, out on adventures or sort of like explorer adventurer types. Um, if they have the right equipment, if they've got a fast bike, they actually can just scoot up that shale before it slips underneath. But mm. you can't climb up it or down it. You need a acro, no, a Mac bike. You need a very fast bike to drive up it. Uh, and then you continue your journey. I will say that Brad is uh, begrudgingly feeling kind of more comfortable at this point because uh, he is a geologist and he has gone on sort of, you know, the the, the bone revealing expedition-y thingies, mm -hmm. you know. So Archaeology? He, that's it, thank you. <laughs> I am somewhat of a dirt person myself. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, uh, you know, rocks. He's studied lots of different rocks and uh, minerals uh, and and stones and gems. Uh, as a geologist, that's what geologists study, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Just checking. You got it, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think, I feel like I understand this terrain a little bit more, and I'm pretty sure we should be heading in that direction. I say, vaguely pointing ahead of us. <laughs> and as you round a bend of rocks, uh, looking forward, you see a child of about eight or nine, a boy. Oh no, it's another child, run! <laughs> um, who is asleep up against a tree. Where are these children's parents? Shh. Well, that is answered for you almost immediately as it, there are several boxes and sort of supplies that have been dragged up here as well as a campfire burning, a uh, deck chair that has been taken from a cruise ship and a parasol uh, and a rather severe looking gentleman uh, sleeping also on a deck chair. <sighs> There's another um, young boy also running around. And uh, there's also a teenage girl who seems to be laying on a similar deck chair and sunning herself. Uh, she, she, you would guess, is more a, like 16, sort of like middle teenager. Um, so three kids and an adult. Oh, it's not a child by themselves. They're the ones who get feisty. And I walk up to the group and address the nearest adult who is conscious. <laughs> Uh, hello, G greetings. We're uh, traveling and exploring the area to find uh, if we can help the camp back there. But you seem to have set up a camp of your own. Can I ask about your circumstances? How are you all feeling? What's happened? Shale mutations. Is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I don't get, I, I don't get it. I'll tell you later. You're a geologist. Yeah, the geologist. Yeah, you're the, the rock joke. man. <laughs> what? Shale was the earlier <laughs> rock stuff. I shale. Don't worry, Brad. I'll shale's yeah. shale's a rock type. It is Pokemon. It's not a bike. Mm. Oh, ooh, you're so close, buddy. <laughs> what? This is why you stay inside, huh? <laughs> What's all what this racket then? <laughs> <dumb> characters. <laughs> a, a hat gets pushed up from her head. Why are you interrupting my nap? Well, we're we're trying to find help for uh, the camp back there. You know where the camp, the... The man stands up from his deck chair with a groan and you almost comically, a shadow like falls over you as this like six foot six built, massive, thick, muscly guy. He's got like tight uh, shirt on with like a military jacket. Uh, got some dog tags, got his hair all up. He looks a bit like Lieutenant Surge. Um, and he looks and he sort of cracks his neck a few times. Interrupting my sleep with a bunch of nonsense about rock-type Pokemon. Well. Now with it, your survivors from the wreck, yeah? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Creed's the name. How are you all faring? Are you okay? Are your spirits high? Well, we came for a holiday and we're getting a holiday. Isn't that right, kids? Shut up, Dad. <laughs> says the daughter. I'm trying to rare, like trying to sunbathe. Oh, that's a great attitude to have. <coughs> we, on the other hand, are uh, a little more depressed and panicked. Um, no, we're not. Well, some of us are. Yeah, you. Well, He's yeah. grumpy. This has been pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, you do look a bit like soft-handed, uh, lousy trainers, and environment Aww. like this. Hey. 
can be a bit tough, so, um... We ate lots of adventure. Soft hands don't matter if you have the appropriate gloves and equipment. So how are your Pokemon faring uh, getting here from the town? You're all well, I'm assuming. He, he grabs a plump, <clears throat> ripe citrus berry, which you know has the effect of healing Pokemon significantly mm-hmm. and just <laughs> bites into it as juice sprays over his face. <laughs> ah, delicious. Iggy... This is a paradise island. My Ignisilk Iggy. Mm. I've named him, by the way. Crawls up, he's on my shoulder and his eyes are just bubbling and he looks uh, a bit wounded and depressed. Mm. And there's a yelp from most of our Pokeballs. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe not so good. There are some pretty combative people out there in the uh, the previous trail. What, that nerd and that kid? Yeah, they, they were really uh, aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even get past my first gym challenge. We came across like three cat gym challenge. <laughs> That's a flag. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean gym challenge? Well, oh, I'm great. I'm a gym leader. Oh, it's back the, from home. Wow. It's the, uh, we think you're met. We met your son. Who's looking for his brother? So your other son. My boys. Yeah, it is getting a bit late. I wonder where they are. You, I'm not going to lie, know. I thought the height gave it away. <laughs> do I know where your kids are? I don't need to. They're more capable trainers than you. They can handle themselves on a route that week. Hey, that's... We could be. You're being a little fast to judge there. Do you have any more of those berries? <laughs> I got plenty. <laughs> Joke's wants... on you for eating your apple already. Dave. I bet. Here it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you've got an apple there and you're just like, oh, my God, you an apple. <sighs> hmm. What'll it take to get some of those berries, sir? What if we help you gather some firewood? Or, um, uh, Victor can massage your feet. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Nah, we're fine. Look, the kids will be right. I'll only get worried once the sun starts going down. What are you out here for anyway? You're not getting any berries off me. <laughs> I'm foreigners than myself. Well, we're, uh, trying to be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Well, why don't you go north? And I think they wanted to see if the path continues deeper into the island. They can get some stuff. I don't know. I, I found a nice spot and I'm couching here with my uh, Pokemon, my kids, and just making the most of it. Isn't that right? Raichu comes from up on a thing Aww. as there's as, 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 uh, Raichu's like going Raichu, Raichu, Raichu up the top of the thing waddling back and, back and forth um, refl- it's holding like a sheet of broken ship like oh, a, God. it's like a, a tray from the dining hall and it's standing up there reflecting sunlight down onto the sunbeds oh. so they're sunning themselves it's like up on the hill above Aww. well uh, finding out if a Path continues. Does sound like helping the camp. Mm. <sighs> okay, we'll help find if the path continues. Do you have any? Uh, do you want? Uh, what if we had? Some, uh, would you be willing to contribute some supplies for some adventurers helping to uh, aid the common good? Oh, I see how it is. You've come along and you want to take food from my family, my young children, what who if- I've gathered this food for. What about a trade? Oh, sweetheart. And he hands you a citrus berry, Stormy. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was so happy. There you go, darling. I'm doing the big puppy eyes. <laughs> thank you. He, he just sees a kid and immediately is like, well, you can have, you can have a berry. Like, That's cute. I'm not Dad. feeding these incompetent Dad. adults, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought a man like you would be able to provide for yourself. I, I, Oof. Yeah, you're right. I can and should <laughs> and will. It was nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> ah, bugger off. <laughs> and off we bugger. <laughs> Up north. Well, that was an individual I'm sure we haven't seen the last of, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Raichu. He must uh, specialize in electric type. Like Kaboom. Potentially. Interesting. A rock type could be useful. Also, he has confirmed that citrus berries are on this island, so at least we know we can find them. That's really good information. And, oh, no, I forget. 
Yeah, no, it's gone again. All right, let's go. Oh, dear. Can you feed citrus berries? Does anyone have a... You can share them, yeah. A restore confusion restore berry to feed Brad. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's be strategic. If we're going to be coming across rock or, or fire type, or like, I don't know, if we're in like this arid then landscape. Then Lada Leap needs to be alive. Who's, who's leading? Who's leading? Brad's that, still leading. Does he swap after a conversation? Does, citru- no. does the citrus berry revive? No, it, it doesn't it heals revive. four HP. Oh, okay. doesn't revive. So I could who, heal my pick-a-pick, but you guys might need it. Who's going to be useful against rock type? Grass? That's the question. Grass is strong against rock? Can, can yes. I? Hold Fainted. on. Hold on. Are both your, can I ask this question? I got grass. Ah, oh, for Mantis is grass. Yeah, who is who has got one health? Okay. Just and Brad's, you're in the lead. Brad, is that correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So having a Pokemon with health up front might be useful. Brad, why are you giving me puppy dog eyes? Well, just that berry looks so <laughs> juicy. It's not for us. It's for the Pokemon. Oh, you're right. And if we're coming up against rock types. Foamy would be really helpful. If I give it to you, give it to Foamy? Yeah, of course. Okay. And I uh, let Foamy out and, like, I, I squeeze the berry just a little firmer than I need to, handing it over so there's a little juice. <laughs> you can just, little juice. Lick the juice. just pop the juice and I'm like, <laughs> in a very uh, old Absolutely shameless. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hot, okay? Thank you very much. I've used this, and uh, uh, yeah, four HP. Yay! You owe Thank me you. berries from Mantis. You're right, I do. Thank you. Hopefully, I catch a Pokemon that can help us beat a gym leader. Actually, that sounds kind of cool. Whoa. Beating a gym leader? Could you imagine? Yeah. Wow. Now that would be an adventure. Well, grass Pokemon would be pretty good for that too. Well, they got electric. Fomantis is looking way healthier now. And Fomantis has been fully healed. Good for me. Jumping around happily. Wonderful. (laughs) All right. Well, I'm pretty sure that that guy has picked the immediate area around himself pretty clean, but uh, we can always look for berries a bit later down. Let's see how deep this path goes. You head north, the only path you can, through the ravine, and you find a bunch of rocks that look well. Uh, quite breakable, if you had the talent required. Hey, Mr. Geologist, do you know what these are? Ah, oh, of course I do. I I pull out the Pokedex. They're rock. A Pokemon <laughs> could use the move Brick Break to break them. Is that what the Pokedex says? No, the Pokedex says a rock. <laughs> defi- That's not a That is definitely boulder. a rock. It's I've a rock. studied these before. Uh-huh. Interesting. In depth. And as you continue on, there is a patch of grass that winds around to one side. It's this sort of savanna plain. There's some dirt. There's some grass. There's various ways to go through. You can see bushes rustling as Pokemon move to and fro. Uh, you can also try and head north and avoid this patch of grass. I try and avoid the patch but, of grass. Uh, you also need to... S- <laughs> and you head north, going around the top of the patch of grass uh, until you realize that where you land is in fact a dead end. No. And there is a way down avoiding the grass with one of those annoying, frustrating little mounds that you can't quite climb over. But to proceed, you will have to press through a small patch of grass. Oh, oh. Looking ahead, I can see against a ridge a very, very shallow uh, area of grass. It's only like like one Mm -hmm. small, like, I think if we just like, we just duck through there real quick. We won't have to uh, deal with any inconveniences. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go through the single... The tiny tile of grass. Are so afraid yeah. of Pokemon? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, no, it, I turn around correctingly. It's conflict, Stormy. I'm afraid of conflict. I'll poke you. <laughs> Watch it be a crit fail. Oh, there you go. You, just- <laughs> you dive through. <laughs> and on a critical success, which with such nimbleness, you are not going to raise the counter. 
So next Ooh. time you will only need one. And you press on and you notice that you're winding. There's a Pokeball capsule up on a hill to the <gasps> south that you can't get to. No. And yeah. as you're winding around through these rocky ravines, you can see that there is a whole ledge. Section. There's a whole upper section that you don't seem to be able to get to just yet. And pushing north, there's some trees and piles of grass. And once again, a large patch of grass with wild Pokemon in it separating you from the rest of your journey. Oh, all right, deep breath, people. We can do this. We've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> what is it going to be? What is it going to be? Thank you, thank you. It's a canopy. That'd be so funny. Uh, hey, think about this as making your me stronger. <laughs> That's a good way to see it. In fact, I've never, I've never, uh, well, I haven't Pokemon battled up until this whole ordeal, but I've never even uh, commanded another Pokemon other than uh, ooh, Iggy. Wow, yeah. this is pretty epic. <laughs> It'll be fun. I'm uh, I'm like a real Pokemon trader. <laughs> All right. Now's your chance for some personal growth, Brad. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. I love yeah. that you're having this like um, inspirational, epic conversation as you walk up through this grass, <laughs> like finding your bravery as you move <laughs> through the grass. Well, Sweet, another trying shallow. To find. Well, I'm no. trying to find my Pokemon. Uh, do they not exist? Uh oh. What? What is it? <laughs> Roll the dice again. Roll again. It, it, it's, the, it's the bro. The bro. <laughs> no. It's all right, Stormy. Jimmy, Jimmy. If it's if it is another Shellos, I can just escape Ropus out of this. But let's let. Oh, let's let there's Brad a whole. There's a second pile that was hidden. I like Shellos. Sorry, sorry, everyone. There was a, there was. I only had half the pile. <laughs> yeah. I don't want him to get like two. two there we go. Pile You've this. got a lot. Don't yeah, there's like a lot of them, but uh, these are the actual. Just, just bear with me. I'm sorry. Do we have any Pokeballs? Oh, um, I do not. You do not. Mari? No. Yeah. I do you have Melanie. one? Oh, no. I don't we know. have no Pokeballs. Do you have one? I do not. Uh, so you're going to do it after that whole big chat? You're just going to flee? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm running. Wow. <laughs> With this, Whoa. nothing else we can do. Well, oh, you gain experience. You gain experience. Yeah, but you can catch it's it. going to cost health that I could use fighting another battle and catching a Pokemon. And in front of you, there is a... As the as the the grass is crushed and pressed from side to side, completely trampled underfoot, as there's these huge thunking steps, as what looks like a rhinoceros of stone oh, bursts forward, completely blocking your path, and a rhyhorn. That would be so cool to catch. We don't have any pokeballs. <laughs> I, f I feel like we need a flea. Can I? Well, on the other hand, if your Romantis has any grass moves, they're going to be really good against this Rhyhorn. It's true. All right. Also, it's a pretty strong and rare, relatively rare Pokemon, so you probably get some good experience from this, Brad. Can we, can we split the party? No. We sure as hell you can, can do it. <laughs> you can definitely appraise uh, this the creature somehow. We wanted yeah. to get an ability to kind of gauge whether or not you could fight it or not. Yes. What have you got? Yeah. We should Why both use it. Why would we them. praise it if we're that different? <laughs> because <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Look at it, Stormy. Great. It's magnificent. We're all like, you everyone's standing behind a rock. I use the right one. I'm like, it's wonderful. <laughs> I use Pokedex in combination with Analyze ID, which uh, helps us understand the abilities and traits of the target, which I spent a spirit to do. Uh -huh. Do you want to do your... Uh, yeah, I will do this. Yeah, my ID. My back. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. M Melanie uh, identifies their stats. Six. Stats, stats, stats. What is it? What's considered a success? 
Is it mm -hmm. non-combat technically currently? It says honestly. Yeah, it's, uh, you only need to worry about that if you're being attacked. Ew, Go. never mind. <laughs> that so. was a bad roll anyway. Rhyhorn, <laughs> the Spikes Pokemon. Incredibly strong and dangerous, Rhyhorn often charges at things that anger it. However, it is not very bright and will forget why it began to charge. It will not stop until it hits something solid. And you oh. use both your abilities to get basically the full read yeah. down. Rhyhorn is catch rate. It's tier four. Whoa. Uh, it's, I think, the strongest Pokemon you've actually mm. bumped into. Yep. Uh, um, Brad. <laughs> and it is uh, catch rate. Foamy is tier one. <laughs> Do you have any ranged? Oh, it's the catch rate. Oh, it's, it's good point. Yes. Yes. I think it's catch rate four. Four? Mm -hmm. Not that you have Pokeball, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it has six dice to roll in combat. has one bonus attack, no bonus at range. It has 11 health. It has one defense. Uh, and you get its ability and everything too, don't you? <laughs> its ability is it has rock head. It deals plus one extra damage at close range. So it has basically plus two damage at close range. Uh, and its abilities, it has Stomp, which does three damage and on critical successes stun uh, which will be five damage in close combat it has rock blast uh which is you get neg one to the combat roll but you roll five dice and you deal one damage per success and then it has horn drill which it only has enough spirit to use once uh, it has negative two to the combat roll and critical miss but it does plus 99 damage <gasps> Uh, so horn drill is a one hit KO move that will knock you out if it hits. I love that you put that in. How did you feel writing plus ninety nine? Happy. <laughs> I, I always love those moves, even though they only hit one third of the time oh in the game. God. They're terrible, but yeah. So like I'm reading this on the Pokedex. <laughs> like, Your face. This right horn's like getting ready to charge. Uh, uh, foamy ra razor leaf. You gonna fight? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say, Brad, you can go for this. I'm so proud of you, but if you want, I have an escape rope that we can use. You might need it, but I think Razor Relief is pretty strong. All right, you say the word. Do we? That thing needs to get close. If we clock it when it's far, far enough away, Foamy might just stand a chance. I don't think Rhyhorn is Rhyhorn like, like one of the only yeah, ones yeah. printed. Oh, it failed twice. Yeah, we have like yeah. one third of a Rhyhorn. Okay, Rhyhorn will be represented by this giant. giant it's giant the first point. one we failed to ah! have. Uh, that just means we should run away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a sign. All right, Rhyhorn takes a few steps closer and uses Rock Blast. If we take a few steps back, Rhyhorn is using Hide Horn. <laughs> So Rayhorn, as it starts to okay. charge, yeah. uh, kicks up these large rocks towards you. Okay. Rayhorn is this D20. This kind of looks like So it moves, and it's three away. And it uses Rock Blast. Razor Relief! Oh, no, she did. Uh, it gets one success. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> Fermantis <laughs> gets Melanie, it's it's a five <laughs> dice roll with critical hit. On Razor Leaf? On okay. Razor Leaf. You can do it. Is that cost spirit to use? <gasps> that's three, so that's a crit critical hit, so I get another one. No, I don't think that'll matter because it no, only rolled it, one success. Well, it hits. Uh, is that a spirit costing move? Yes. Move? Okay, is. cool. So how much damage does it do? It does... Three damage. Okay, which becomes grass type. five because it's doubly a super effective. Woohoo! Minus one from the defense. You is, deal a whack of damage. Is Fermenta some any, any bonus in melee or ranged? Uh, or, or any. Neither. I haven't neither. seen the card. Yeah, okay. Rhyhorn moves one step closer and uh, uses Rock uh, Blast again. Well done, Frommy! Raise relief again! What does he call it? Omi. Four, 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 four successes. Four, four, four. Oh four boy. Me? No one feels like hyping a foamy up at this point. I'll hype up foamy. Well, that's damage, isn't it? Yeah. I've got a hit. It's hitting that's the problem. Hmm. Hmm. If it was a doubles battle, I could help, but until then, mate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> rolls is rolls. I cannot. I can't intercede until you're being mauled on the ground. <laughs> yes! Oh! Five! Yay! You get it. 
And are you still using the same ability? Uh, I'm going to use my trainer ability, or is it too late? It's too late. Oh. You need to call before you roll. Did you? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So you do one extra damage versus last time, so you do five. Is that with the crit success as well? It's not crit success. That's crit hit. What did you use? Sorry. Three damage plus... How much does it the was plus hit one, so it's six one. damage, which goes down to five. Okay, so you do a massive hit onto Raihorn. It's still <laughs> up, but you've done two huge hits in a row. <laughs> so how much health has it got left? Don't. Oh, you do know you it do has maps. two health left. Great razor. Li- oh, Fomantis looks spent. Okay, <laughs> you're all out of leaves for me. Aww. Oh no! <laughs> do you have any other ranged attack? <laughs> One. Because it moves one step closer, so you're now one apart, and uses Rock Blast again. We'll accept that. Uh, oh, you're going to move up? It's a, it's a ranged attack that results in being defended. Okay, so it doesn't do damage. You Are you going to move up? Defend at the end, until the end of combat, this Pokemon counts as succeeding tied to combat rolls. Focus energy or something. Yeah. Fury Cutter. So you're going to move up? Move up. All right, then it's going to use Stomp instead of Rock Blast. He's risking it for the biscuit. Is that the big one? No, it's just the regular. Ah. It's just way better in close combat. Uh, All right. Wait. Uh, Now you have to decide if you're using things. You got this. Let's go. Oh, you don't got this. Three successes. (laughs) No successes. (laughs) Five damage. Oh. <laughs> you didn't want to use your defensive ability. Didn't you have five health exactly? I had five health. Is exactly. grass type resistant to ground? Uh, to, no. To no, it's normal anyway. It's stomp. You should have used. Why didn't you use your ability, Jazza? You could use grit. I use to grit. reduce it by one. I use That's grit. True. And then you'll be on one health. I use grit. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, yeah. bing bong. You don't want to faint because you can't get back up from fainted. Yeah. It's true. Mm. All right. Now, oh. it got a critical success on that, which gives stun one, so you have one less dice in combat next oh. turn. Oh. Ah. And you chose to fight it. I mean, it's only on two. You've done pretty well. Maybe escape rope. Do you want it? But I don't get the XP, but mm. I'm not going to... You'll get two die. XP for beating a Rohan. He's going to die, and foam is the only... Grass yeah. type we have. How, how many dice w- will you have with stunned? Four? I'll have four dice. Do you have abilities that will pump you up? No. no not for combat roll. Could you and s- we're out of our comfort territory now. We've used up all the good abilities. And okay. Do you have any items? Guess we can't nope. catch it Escape now. Nothing. Do you have any yeah, Pokeballs? No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> how, how much spirit do you need to use Razor Leaf? One. Uh, it's, the, it's the Pokemon spirit. He's got two spirit. I've used two. Oh! No, I can't help. Oh, no. Wait. Yes, if it, it will a help. Berry. Yeah. Oh, I throw a berry at you. I can't believe what it is. <laughs> Brad getting all the a berries. A leper berry. Berry. On success, restore one spirit to active Pokemon. Yeah. That will just automatically succeed if you're not being attacked. Um, But I am being attacked. You, the trainer, aren't being attacked. Okay, I yes. immediately start eating the berry. Wait, you're <laughs> eating the berry? You I give, give the berry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I still it have a eats a leper berry four. and gains a spirit. But you do have critical hit now. I do have critical hit. Just for the drama of it all, the Rhyhorn rears its head back oh and you God. guys yes. hear a... Oh, no. No. Yes, do it. Yes, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. And a gleam, a sharp ah. gleam on the tip of its horn. As it looks like it is going to kill Fromantis with this blow. Because uh, this little leaf thing taking Raihorn's horn Tiny will kill it. Wait, it doesn't just faint? No, it'll faint. It's oh we're playing God. a PG campaign. Oh uh, it will faint still. But uh, I'm using Horn Drill mostly because I'm a nice GM and it Thank gives you for the negative day. two to hit <laughs> and critical miss. So, yeah, I was, so nice. it's my lowest. Uh, well, any attack is going to faint. Any attack yeah, will faint it, you. Yeah. This one has negative two to hit and, and critical crit. miss. And yeah. I have critical hit, so it's the best chance I got. I still got three successes. I got though. three, but one's a crit. So if this is a hit, no. Can you use but a they knack? both do damage. Can you use a knack? 
I to can win. use a knack. I would. I can to use win. a knack. Because you I do not want to be hit yes, by Plus one, just plus one. So, Raihorn, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Raihorn moves oh. forward and Brad screams, no, in the last moment. And that burst of care for this newly caught Pokemon, it does a like a little pirouette backflip. It's a very delicate, um, for Mantis are quite delicate, almost like a dancer and these little petal Pokemon. Does a backflip and it's like, you can see the frames of animation being used to save budget. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the three frames of animation as it's slowly doing this backflip very dramatically. Um, as it as it backflips the horn and flings razor leaf, its remaining leaves that it got back from this berry, straight into the eyes of this Rhyhorn <laughs> that shakes <laughs> left and right and then <laughs> limps, passes out and a big snot bubble comes out of its nose and pops <laughs> as it starts to snore Aww. as it's being knocked out its dumb dumb head and you gain two experience for Fomantis. You did it for me! I can't believe you did it! Wow, I'm so proud of you! Well done. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's amazing! What an ordeal, but look at that! And I'm like looking at this giant rye horn. <laughs> we Can knew I? you could do it. I think Foamy needs uh, to be displayed uh, <laughs> for Yay! the size comparison. <laughs> So foamy. Remember, everyone, this is the tutorial area, and yeah. there's no Nuzlocke level trauma here whatsoever. You are, you are now out of the tutorial <laughs> Wait, area. The tutorial <laughs> area. Yeah. Yay! Okay. The, 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 the forest was the tutorial area, but uh, yeah. <laughs> is beating uh, Pokemon where you get XP, but catching doesn't give XP? It does. Oh, it does? Yeah. You've to, been to given the train it. is not Pokemon. No, to the Pokemon. It does. So Iggy has XP. Yeah. You or I, I definitely have been telling you to get XP after every fight you're in. Okay. How much was it? It's one XP yeah. for a battle. The first time you've ever been awarded more than one is Raihorn. Yeah. Yay! What about the trainer battles? Well, that was... Uh, so Stormy got two, well, but that was because it was two Caterpies. Two Caterpies. Okay. You don't get extra for trainer battles. Yeah. But I was thinking uh, you probably... Oh, like, no, you got money. You get extra based off... You, and you got... You get money. You get extra based off, um... Except like, how strong the Pokemon is. Worth <laughs> well, you didn't even pick it up when the guy threw it over his shoulder. So you currently have seven yen. I don't want his sympathy. Um... When you get to the trash when trash. you get to the Japanese <laughs> gift store halfway through and you regret not picking up all the yen, you're gonna be so mad. Would have been cool mochi. to catch a rival. There's, there's like a perfect Asahi vending machine from Japan just still functioning. You're like, no! Hot soup in a can, still hot somehow. We really need Pokemon healing this. And Pokeballs. Yeah. yeah. I would like to examine this Rhyhorn up close while it is still snoozing away and and a bit hurt. Well, I'll, you can begin examining it Yay. next week. Next episode of Pokemon. <laughs> Yay! Where our adventure is weary and battered and weakened, I reckon we're going to need a Pokemon Center pretty soon. Lucky you know how to get one. Uh, and then... Do we? Yeah, you just got to get cut. Oh, we just got to cut. The, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Just get cut. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very dramatic conclusion yeah, to this. So. Yeah. Yeah. Battles to this was dramatic. dramatic. Very dramatic. That was very fun. Mm. Yeah. It Glad feels, you enjoyed it. I, it Joint feels very quite mechanically <laughs> balanced. The so Pokemon I'm battles have been it. way better than I, I was worried they'd get old real quick, but like no, that Rhyhorn like fire them. was like, Woo. We've had some interesting matchups. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, and it's a like, yeah, like they, they're moving pretty quick too, which is great. Anyway, yay! Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> this has been fun. We'll see you all next week and we'll see our patrons Not now because we have enough time. Wonderful. To to. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.